Now the next question. This is getting into the solutions for the using mathematics. Question number again of one mark. Any tier numerical answer type. Question number thirteen. The master question is getting into the easy concept of linear mathematics. Is as follows. Question number thirteen. One mark. Numerical answer type. Is given. Let R and RQ denote the set of real numbers and the three dimensional vector space over it respectively Does not form a basis of RQ. Is is it a normal answer to the question? So to give you reference. There is no solution to this question. So the answer is here. R and RQ do not possess a real number in three dimensional vector space. You need to find a number for the following set of vectors. Does not form this. For this set of vectors not to form a basis of RQ, they should not be linearly dependent. Vectors not be linearly dependent. That is, what we need to be linearly dependent when the determinant forming the using I mean involving or containing these vectors will not be. This is given. Two minus three alpha, three minus one three, and one minus one seven should not be produced. We need to find the value of alpha for this. For this, this will not be produced. So this should, this should be produced. This will represent three-dimensional vector space when it's a basis of R two when. Then they will not be linearly dependent, but so that they do not form a basis of R two, the set of vectors should be linearly dependent. They should be linearly dependent. So they should lie in a like they should be linearly dependent. They should be lie in a plane. So plane is plane means then not in a plane like plane means R two R square. So plane can be formed by say x and y. It's two dimension. If they are linearly dependent, they will lie on this x plane. The set of vector, this vector should lie on the x plane. For them, for that to happen, they have to be linearly dependent. And for linear dependency, this limit should be equal to zero. You have to solve this limit, right? Let's solve this. Minus one minus seven minus minus five minus two plus minus three minus three minus three minus seven. Plus fifty four minus forty alpha equal to zero. So from here we get forty alpha should be equal to zero point seventy. So we should be seventy point four zero five. Right? 
right answer to this question is the value of alpha is 5. So explain how the steps are. First, we should find that these vectors not to form this argument, they should be linearly dependent, they should be lying in the same plane. For that to happen, the determinant containing this vector should be equal to 0. And using that condition, I found the value of alpha to be 5. And that's the correct answer in numerical answer format for this related question. I'll explain